it seems that the drama in Maharashtra is far from over. Senior Pawar, that is Mr. Sharad Pawar, has written to the Election Commission of India, and this is very interesting. This letter has been written on Ajit Pawar's petition, staking claim on the NCP symbol. He says, and I quote, would like to place on record our formal objections to the fact that the Honorable Commission, despite receiving our caveats as filed on 3rd July 2023, has failed to inform us of this filing initiated by Ajit Pawar. Further, it appears strange that if at all a petition was received on the 30th of June by the Honorable Commission, then the same should have been made available to the understand on the 3rd of July 2023, which means he's talking about himself. On the other hand, if the petition had in fact been filed on the 5th of July, the same ought not to have been taken on record without a copy of the same being served to Sharad Pawar's party because they filed their own petition. In a way, basically suggesting that the election commission has taken note of a letter or a petition from Ajit Pawar without listening to the version of Ajit Pawar. This is very interesting because in a way, this uh, casts aspersions to the functioning of the election commission. We have Arvind Gunasekhar joining us. Arvind, uh, these things are often very, very technical and very complicated. So for the benefit of our viewers, if you could begin from the very beginning and explain from the point where this matter reaches the election commission. So what has happened? Sanket, after uh, Ajit Pawar and eight other MLAs of NCP joined the uh, government of Ekna Chinde in Maharashtra, on July 3rd, uh, Sharath Pawar wrote a letter, Sharath Pawar camp wrote a letter to election commission. In, in a way, it was a caveat that was filed by the Sharath Pawar camp saying that uh, Sharath Pawar continues to be the president of NCP. And they also told the election commission not to take uh, any communication or any representation from Ajit Pawar camp on record. And they said that without hearing them, the election commission should not act on any of the representation or com uh, communication from Ajit Pawar camp. So this particular letter was first written by Sharath Pawar camp on July 3rd, post which, uh, according to our sources, on July 5th, election commission received a petition from Ajit Pawar staking claim uh, for the uh, uh, NCP symbol, uh, also informing the uh, uh, election commission saying that Ajit Pawar has been appointed as the president of NCP. He has replaced Sharad Pawar as president of NCP uh, with a, uh, in effect with a resolution that is dated uh, uh, June 30th. So this particular petition copy which is dated June 30th was received by the election commission on July 5th. That's why Sharad Pawar has again written another letter, second letter to Election Commission, wherein he is bringing two uh, points to the Election Commission's notice. One, he is saying that I have already filed a caveat on July 3rd. On July 3rd, I informed the Commission that I continue to be the President of the party. And if at all, if there is any communication that the Commission receives from Ajit uh, Pawar camp, that should be communicated to uh, Sharad Pawar. And he is maintained, uh, he also told the Commission that Ajit Pawar and eight other MLAs are facing disqualification and proceedings, uh, proceedings as initiated by Sharad Pawar camp. So that's the factual detail that has been given by Sharad Pawar to the election commission. But the issue here is that according to Sharad Pawar camp, when they have already written to election commission on July 3rd uh, in, through a caveat, the election commission should have given the copy of Ajit Pawar camp on July 5th. If at all, if, uh, uh, if, if at all, if Ajit Pawar camp has filed any petition with election commission on June 30th, then uh, the election commission should have given them the copy on July 3rd itself, the day uh, Sharad Pawar camp wrote to election commission. And if at all, if they have written instead of July, uh, instead of June 30th, if at all, if Ajit Pawar camp had filed any petition on July 5th, according to Sharad Pawar camp, the election commission should not have taken it on record without serving a copy uh, to Sharad Pawar camp. So also very importantly, Sankit, if you could see this dates, it will be too confusing because July 3rd is the first time Sharad Pawar wrote to election commission. And again, uh, July 5th is what Ajit Pawar wrote to election commission. And now Sharad Pawar is saying that on July 6th, if at all, if Sharad, Ajit Pawar had written to you on July 5th, you should have given me the copy without taking it on record. These dates are very uh, confusing. But one date is very important in this entire legal battle between Sharad Pawar and Ajit Pawar. That's June 30th. Because June 30th is what Ajit Pawar is claiming that he has replaced Sharad Pawar as the president of NCP. That means 
he is trying to make a legal defense for himself even not just before the election commission but also before the proceedings that is pending before the speaker wherein he is trying to build a uh, build a defense wherein he is saying that it's not just the group of MLAs who have joined uh, the Eknath Chinde government but the NCP original party itself has taken a decision to join the government because according to him uh, Ajit Pawar he himself has been appointed as the president of NCP that means he has that means he is claiming that he has the support of the NCP political party dated June 30th to join the government of Eknath Chinde.